Property Friends team members. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The Property Friends musings for the month of May. Where does time go? I don't know. I don't know. I must be getting older. They, they say that it's the older you get, the faster time runs. Seems to be certainly true for me. Anyway, we are in very interesting times. The C word is still around um, and will be no doubt around for a while. So we better get used to uh, different circumstances. I personally can see a lot of silver lining on the wall and um, see a lot of positives coming out of that. And as always, I want to be focusing on that. Of course, heck, I don't, I'm not an ostrich. I don't have my head in the sand. Of course, I understand that there are some challenging times around for others. And some, well, yeah, 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 I'm going to say it. Some businesses will be out of business. Um, some people will lose their job. That's just the way that it's going to be. And that's very unfortunate. But again, let's look at it as an opportunity to do something different if this is the case for us. On Wednesday the 6th at 7 p.m., we're holding another briefing session. Uh, I am really, really intent on keeping our team keeping you informed about the latest and greatest. So Wednesday the 6th at 7 p.m., we are talking about landlords. We are going through the different states. I've got two specialized guest partners that will be reporting. Um, so definitely Queensland, definitely Victoria, definitely Western Australia. The rest we can cover as we see fit. 10 minutes presentation each person. So that's 30 minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, questions so in an hour maximum we should be done so that is wednesday the 6th at 7 p.m right what else is new well we are finalizing the website updates uh, the member section is really really looking good a uh, couple more tweaks to be done there of course the members only will find the updates to our strategic alliance partners saps a little photo, three lines of update, uh, what they're on about, and, of course, the contact details. Each and every one of those is, of course, handpicked and works specifically together with Property Friends because we are a well-oiled machine. <laughs> okay. Now, what else is new? Well, I am very excited, and you'll hear it here first. Property Friends is launching the Training Academy, Property Friends Training Academy. I figure there is very little really good training out there, and uh, I've decided to do something about it. So we'll start off with a, say, 10 to 15 minutes free. Don't you love that word? Free course that uh, will cover how do I know whether I'm investment ready? So what do I need to do to be ready? a bit of a checklist um, to make sure that we've got everything lined up and re are ready to go. From there, we'll go into uh, one to three, uh, four to seven, eight till 10, and then into the uh, hard hitting, the turbo charge, the fun part, 10 and above, um, which we have a number of uh, people in our team, which I'm quite proud about, uh, that have gone into these areas. Now, so uh, opportunities, what's coming up? Well, we have oh, a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of land, a magnificent deal on a golf course in Townsville, on the golf course, golf course frontage. As far as I'm concerned, a very, very special deal because these locations are very, very hard to come by. God make no more land, and certainly I don't see too many golf courses coming up in the future. So, very, very scarce piece of land that will have excellent capital grounds in future, for sure. But more to the point, come a bit closer. I've been working for three years on a system to achieve very, very high rental yields. Now, Generally speaking, we are okay with 5%. What if I was to say to you, I can double that? 8 to 10% rental yield. 
You're going to be in one of three categories. One, you're going to say, nah, too good to be true. Can't be, must be a scam. Two, you're going to say, hmm, I know this bloke long enough that I know that if he says he's researching for three years, it'll be a risk averse deal. Or you're going to be in the third category, people that know us very, very well, people that have been probably working with us for a while. And you're going to say, let me add it. I'm not sure how long this window of opportunity will be open, but we'll see. Uh, we certainly uh, have started the first three of those, and the uh, owners are very, very happy. Why wouldn't you be? Tell me one asset class where you can get 8 to 10% government back for 20 years. 20 years. If that ain't a good deal, I don't know what is a good deal. Anyway. Moving right along, the big news is the RBA updates too. There were some um, people that were expecting to see a reduction to zero. That did not happen. I actually think that's a good good way uh, of, of being. Um, so the RBA, the Reserve Bank of Australia, has not changed the interest rate. We're still sitting on 0.25%. Add. Mind you, historically low interest rates. So as far as I'm concerned, in five years, we're going to look back and say, hmm, darn, I should have done something about it. What's the old adage? When is the best time to buy property? Yesterday. The better time is today. We are certainly in the hunt for one of these um, very high-yielding deals as well ourselves. So um, you got to be in it to win it. Have a great month. Have a great time. Most of all, stay happy and healthy. Definitely stay healthy. And I wish you a great, great month. Have fun. Bye-bye, team.